Hi everybody, my name is Brent Atwater. I'm a medium. Thanks for taking time to listen today. We appreciate it. And we're here to help heal your heart. And one of the things we're going to talk about is anger. Because I was angry at God and anybody that moved around me who didn't believe what I thought and didn't think what I was thinking for over 10 years. And anger is not a good thing. It's self-destructive. And you're going, well, you don't understand me. You don't know what you're talking about. You haven't been through it. I've been through it. I've lost pets. I've lost people. And I lost my fiance in a sudden crash. I get what pain is, either abrupt or knowing that it's coming down the pike. I spent 10 years, 10 years trying to talk God out of this thing called death and making it right. And that didn't happen. So I still was in the same place I was in the beginning. So I have the tools, including being able to talk to the other side and talk to spirit and see what they have to say about it to help you heal. Now in my book, Lessons from Loved Ones in Heaven, because I asked spirit about a lot of this, here's what we want to know about anger. Anger is natural and normal to grief at first. Because we have a chart in here where grief goes from up here to hurt, isolation, numbness, shock, comes down here to anger, desperation, loneliness, and then it starts sliding up on the other side. Well, we're trying to get you back up on the other side. Anger emotionally drains you. You're the only one that goes to bed at night emotionally drained because everybody else, as long, you know, they don't want to be around you listening to you. And anger is self destructive. So, you can have anger for a little while during your healing. But if you're still snapping at people, you don't understand me, you don't know me, you don't know what happened, you don't know the circumstances, that's a big red flag to everybody around you that you're saying, I want to hold on to this because I don't understand it and I want to encapsulate myself in this instead of trying to understand it, be more aware and grow forward. Now you can take anger and do something good with it. Like if there's a wreck from a drunk driver, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers was born from a mom's anger of losing her son. You can have problems about a vet maybe did something wrong, but he didn't go to the vet's office that day and plan to hurt your dog. He trained his whole life to save your cat, save your horse or whatever. And he was only human and a mistake was made. Like when friend was in the um, ICU, they gave him a shot he wasn't supposed to have and I almost lost him because there was a trainee that didn't know, don't give him the shot. So things happen in life, but how you respond is what matters. But if you hang on and wallow in that cesspool of anger, it's a, a struggle that only wears you out. So take that anger and shape shift it into something positive, like the mothers against drunk drivers. Or if it happened at the vets, then take that anger and create, you know, a vet registry or create something good out of it that other people benefit from because that was the purpose of the entire event happening is for the souls to evolve through it. Because if you go in a group and you start talking angry and you're aggressive and you're assertive, all it screams is, I'm angry and I don't know how to deal with this hurt and this pain. And everybody after a while will back off and they won't help you. So we want to help you. Take that anger, look at it. Hold it for a while, if you need to, like I had to, and when you're ready, start shape-shifting it into something positive. Because only when you shape-shift it into something positive, like the mother did with MAD, did she honor her son. And only like the person who created the vet registry after the cat or the pet or the dog or the horse was hurt, honored their pet. Because the rest of the time, you're just walking around angry and it's not doing anybody any good, and it's not honoring your pet. And you say, well, you don't know. When you can talk and see spirits on the other side, like I do, when you talk to them and you hear them say, I want them to do something positive, I want them to be happy, then you can talk to me about what I don't know. But until you get there, you can have the anger for a little while, but don't separate yourself like I did for 10 years, and that's why I'm talking to you. Don't spend 10 years being angry because guess what? 
it got me nowhere and alienated everybody around me who was trying to help me. So, there's a chapter in here on how to get over anger, because a lot of times you don't know how to do it. Lessons from loved ones, it'll help you get over anger. Thanks for listening. Subscribe, stay tuned. And we're looking forward to help heal your heart, uplift you, and make you aware that death is only transition and living energy is forever. Thanks. Bye-bye.